disgusted. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and welcome to the mess that is my channel. <laughs> Today we're testing out something that I'm late on and pretty much the whole beauty community has already tried. <laughs> but I want to give my two cents on it and it is the one, the only, Blendful by Tati Beauty. This is her second launch. It was launched on the 10th of January. This did actually take a while to get to me. I ordered it on launch date. I think it was shipped on the 14th of January to me and then it got to me maybe last Friday. Friday, I think it was, so I've had it for a few days, but it did take a little bit of time to get to me, but that's normal. It's coming over from the beautiful country of the USA, uh, and I live all the way over in the tiny South Wales. <laughs> so I'd say that's pretty normal delivery time around two weeks. This baby was a little bit pricey for a makeup tool. Now, if you're not aware of what the Blendiful is, it's a makeup tool that is supposed to be kind of revolutionary. It's not a sponge. It's not a makeup puff, it's kind of like a hybrid. You're supposed to be able to use creams, liquids, powders with this product. And that is why I've come to you with a bare face. Because <laughs> I want to test it out with all of the above. In here there are two puffs, so there's one for the all over product and then there's like a mini one. I obviously haven't tried this yet, it's still sealed in the packaging, I'm really excited to get to it. But let me just get right into the pricing of this and where you can obtain it. So this is exclusively just on Tati Beauty's website, so tatibeauty.com. It isn't sold anywhere else, it's just purely on her website. This package in itself costs $18. Fortunately enough for the UK, taxes is included. So that's amazing so you don't have to worry about extra charges when you receive the item. International shipping, however, is $9.95. And then I believe taxes are on top, which are around $5. So it comes to around $33, which converted to pounds is around $25. Pounds. <laughs> now for me, for a makeup tool, I mean that's more expensive than getting a beauty blender. So it is on the pricey side. Tati Beauty would be considered an indie brand even though she is big on YouTube. Their stuff is usually more expensive. But I've been babbling for a lot of time now. I'm really excited to get my base makeup on and try these babies out. So first of all, let's open it up. <laughs> Satisfying. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see the first one on top. Oh my gosh, this is so goddamn cute. Get a little small little powder puff. This kind of feels squishy. It's such a weird texture. It is very soft. It has a very plush sponge in the center of this little guy. Apparently this one is going to be good for touching up makeup and also, you know, powdering down, getting rid of excess oil. Add a little powder on here. You've got a little powder puff. It's very very cute and travel friendly. Probably just gonna throw this in my bag to be honest because this would be great for touching up the skin. And then we have this. Wow, it's actually quite a big boy. <laughs> Basically almost the size of my face minus my forehead, you know? <laughs> now the texture of the sponge is pretty much exactly the same to the mini one, like the actual material, they're different colors obviously. This one is very flexible as you can see, like there's just like a lot of like squishy squishiness to it. <laughs> this one you you don't have as much squish. <laughs> what am I saying right now? Yeah this one just feels a lot more malleable and it's very effortless to move. It feels like it would be nice to blend out stuff on the skin. So without further ado let's get right on into that. I tried out the Fenty Beauty mascara again today. Ugh, just look at all that mascara on my lid. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna first start off with primer. Now she really made a point of saying that this was more for pore filling primers rather than hydrating primers because with a hydrating primer you really want it to be absorbed to the skin so you don't really need this to take up excess product and obviously even though this isn't supposed to hold product with a very liquidy slippery kind of primer it's just not worth it. I've already gone in with the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer as kind of just like my all over moisturizing primer. I tried this in a first impressions that's coming up after to this video. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications to get notified of that video. But now I'm going to actually go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to fill in the majority of my most porous area, which is mainly kind of my cheeks and my nose and a little bit on my forehead. So let's get right on into it. I'm just going to dip part of the sponge right on in to the jar. I'm going to take the pointiest end of the sponge and just kind of like make a really <laughs> small surface area and just pick up a little bit of the product from in here. Actually that picks up quite a decent amount of product on there. Okay, now I'm just going to use the actual sponge and just press it into my pores like I usually would with my fingers. It feels really nice and soft. Okay, so it has like deposited majority of the product on my face. There isn't really any left 
on the tip of the sponge, so that's great. I have used everything that was on this. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. When I use this, I do tend to use a lot. As you can tell, there's like actual chunks <laughs> missing out of this so I do go in with the product. It feels really nice actually to put this on with the sponge. It feels kind of extra <laughs> but I kind of like it. Okay I actually really like the way that that applied. Do I really notice a difference? Mm, maybe in the way that it's actually sunk into my skin. Definitely filled in my pores like I don't have any residue and I can feel my skin feels really smooth and that's what the sponge looks like after using the primer. You can barely see where I've even used this at all but there is a little bit of the fibers that are disrupted by the primer so far so good let's move on to the next step foundation my battery just died sorry if we've moved a little <laughs> one thing i want to note before going into foundation is i think i use a lot less product than what i usually would while using the blend fill for my primer okay let's move on to foundation i wanted to show you guys a recent combination that i've been loving and it is the hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury along with the l'oreal infallible fresh wear there's just something about this combination it just looks so beautiful on the skin and it sets down really well. The majority of it is the Hollywood Flawless filter, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> then I just add one pump of my foundation in and it just looks so good. But I'm just gonna add a few dots of this foundation. I'm gonna move on to this kind of rounded edge by here for foundation and I'm just gonna pinch it and I'm gonna do very light pressure with this because I feel like you don't need to scrub your skin with this and you can just use light feathery motions to blend it out so I'm gonna try that first and I'm gonna do a whole sweeping motion because that's the way I saw her use it in her video mm. okay it feels unnatural to be swiping <laughs> I've got very very light coverage right now I'm gonna add another layer and let's see if pattern helps I'm just gonna start by pattern this on. It didn't look streaky or anything, but it just took away a lot of coverage. This kind of pouncing method is giving a lot more coverage. Look how beautiful that finishes. Oh my gosh, I love this combo. <laughs> okay, that's so much better with the second layer and the pattern motion. It worked a lot better. I love, I love this glowy skin. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my face with the same pattern motion. That's from doing this side of my face, by the way. There isn't a hell of a lot of residue. I feel like it definitely hasn't absorbed as much as a sponge would. So that's great news. Let's blend this side out as well. I don't know how she did the whole like swiping. I just feel like that takes away product. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe it would work with more thicker foundation. Like I know she really loves the Smashbox one. I can't remember what it's called but that is a very thick consistency so maybe with those kind of foundations it would work better out with the swiping motion because you're just getting like a lot of coverage all at once with the product itself whereas with this one it's more of like a medium coverage and also I use the flawless filter which has a little bit of coverage to it but more of like a highlighty kind of product it kind of dilutes it like a little bit so maybe that's why it doesn't work as well with the swiping motion. Just something to think about before, you know, I jump to conclusions. We'll definitely see how it works with thicker consistencies when I use it for like concealer. But for now, I am still quite liking it to apply my foundation. I feel like I am using less foundation on my face. I'm really happy, it's looking really nice. So just zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see my actual skin and what it looks like. As you guys can see, it looks really nice and glowy. There's no streak marks. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go into my Berry M All Night Long Concealer in the shade Milk. I'm just going to apply it like I usually would. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the same part that I use for my foundation. Just gonna work from the edges in. Let's see what kind of coverage we get. I've got a little gray fiber that's just come off it. I mean it is a fluffy object so we may get some fibers and also I've just literally taken this out of the bagged. I haven't washed it or anything so but it's fine. It's fine. I was too excited okay. <laughs> so far it's just blended out real nice. Sorry guys whenever I put my mirror up freaking camera darkens which is so annoying. Wow this blended it out so nicely like it hasn't taken away any of the coverage and also my creases aren't exaggerated like look how seamless it is to my foundation as well compared to this side look how bright it is compared to the foundation shade and then look at this this is what i've been needing <laughs> for my concealer blend okay i'm just gonna quickly blend this side also this is super fast for blending my concealer i feel to get this kind of finish i like the way you can manipulate this to like really fit into the areas that you really need it to. It's really satisfying. <laughs> All right, well, that looks beautiful. 
there's a little bit of a residue on there but nothing extreme you know this hasn't taken away that much product i am going to highlight like the center of my face and everything but i first of all want to go in with some cream contour i'm going to go in with the fenty beauty matchstick in the shade amber and let's just see how this blends this product in particular i'm gonna blend it upwards and hope it doesn't take away any of my foundation or anything which so far it doesn't seem to be to make it more the kind of shape that i want i'm actually pinching it together like this and then bringing it on an angle so i'm getting that kind of shape that i want like this i don't know how to explain it but i'm just kind of moving it in like a c shape so i don't go down like this and pull my face down you know i hope that made sense <laughs> i'm kind of doing this like a little boat motion i i don't know look at me acting as if i actually know what i'm talking about <laughs> never used this tool in my life before. I feel like that was so easy to blend and there's no harsh lines. Look at that cheek chisel. Okay. And down here can do with a little bit of work but that's my problem. <laughs> Not the tools. I'm sorry. This was this is genius. I love the way my chisel looks. Okay. This is the kind of line that I created on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Now I don't know how contouring my nose is going to go. We are going to give it our best shot. <laughs> it's going to do forehead i'm kind of pushing it in towards my face not away so i don't get it everywhere you know don't know how i feel about it for my nose contour i'm just gonna use any excess that's on the foundation part and just kind of pat over the nose contour to kind of dull it down a little bit just gonna finish up my contour on the other side of my face one second okay so i'm pretty happy with that right now i'm just going to quickly highlight my face again taking the concealer side and let's blend this out okay so blended out that pretty nicely now it's time for the nose <laughs> i'm a little bit nervous not gonna lie let's try it Okay, so it didn't do the best job at keeping it like really precise. It didn't do the worst job, but I'm just looking not as like snatched as I want. I find that with this product, when you put excess down, it picks it up and spreads it out really nice and evenly, which is great for like the under eye and things like that, like the forehead area where you want that kind of effect so it's not patchy or anything. But on the nose, if you've got like excess product, you can't really get like precise with this really if you want like a really thin line. So just bear that in mind. This is more for like blending and blurring than like precise contouring with concealer. Okay, so I have this Kiko Jelly highlighter that we can try it with. <laughs> it's like a white gold. All right, I'm just gonna dip right in to what's in the lid and let's see what happens. It's blended it out quite nicely. It does also look like non-existent, like I don't know where it went. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try it and go in with a little bit more and see what happens. Let's try and build it up a little bit. It's actually a really pretty glow. Why have I not used this more often? Okay, so it works well with jelly highlighter. <laughs> this is quite a liquidy jelly highlighter, but it applies it really nicely. I am thoroughly impressed <laughs> so far. This is amazing. Okay, so far there's still a lot of surface area left over. Next I think to do is actually powder. So I really want to bake my under eyes with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. My under eyes as well aren't even creasing that badly. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to flip over the ribbon to the other side so we have the completely clean part. And now I'm going to use this side for my powder. I'm just going to go right on in and pick up some of the powder, tap off the excess. I'm going to try and get it like pointy and push it right into the under eye and just start applying that. Okay, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this picks up a lot of powder on the puff. Okay, like probably a little too much. <laughs> this is, uh, my under eyes are gonna be very bright. Not that I'm mad though. <laughs> I could probably just have gone in with one pass if I'm honest. I didn't think I really needed to add the second layer over here. <laughs> but you know, I now have to even myself out. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> the powder aspect, amazing. That applied my powder so quickly, evenly. My bake is perfect. <laughs> This is something I definitely use straight away to apply powder again. Like that applied my bake so well and so effortlessly. It was really quick and easy. I am just gonna try and set the rest of my face with the Jeffree Star 
translucent setting powder. I'm just gonna use a bigger part of the puff and I'm just gonna dip into the powder and then I'm just gonna tap off the excess into my hand and kind of spread it a little bit more on the sponge. And now I'm just gonna press this into the skin and lightly set. Ooh. With this blurring powder, this looks so good. Definitely a tool I see myself using again, especially the powder. It just works so well with it. I think I wanna add a veil of a sheen on my skin. I'm gonna use the Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Luminescence, and I am just gonna swirl. So I wanna know how it works with pressed powders as well. Uh, picked up quite a lot of powder. Okay, I'm gonna dust off a little bit of the excess on my hand again, just so we don't go crazy. <laughs> Press this over the skin. This gives like a nice glowy kind of finish to the skin. Okay, yeah, that applied that really well as well. Don't have any issues with the way it applies powder. It just does it so well. Okay, so for the bake, I don't know how to dust it off. Should I just buff it in with the sponge? I think we should try it that way at least. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of lightly, and I mean, I'm barely putting any pressure on this. I'm just kind of like rubbing it into the skin and buffing it in. I'm just hoping it's not gonna like disrupt underneath. You know? I don't know if I liked it for that. Like I'm looking a little bit worse for wear, but also I haven't used that concealer in a while and I've never used it with the Laura Mercier. I feel like it actually buffed out the powder pretty well and it looks pretty even under there though, even though there's like the blueness coming through. And on some areas I'm looking a little bit creepy, like on the side of my nose here. I don't think that's the puff. I think that just might be a combination of the products I've used to be honest. Because on the rest of my skin, like right here and right here and everything, it looks fine. Like it's just looking a little bit creepy by here. Maybe a little bit of setting spray will fix that. We'll have to see in a little bit. Now I do want to try this out with powder products as in like blush, highlight and contour as well just because she said you could. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this little duo which is the contour kit by CYO. It's the Girls on Contour in Fair. I used this in that first impressions video I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Coming soon to a channel near you. Okay, <laughs> just dip straight on in to the contour color. This is quite a sheer powder, so hopefully it's not gonna go too crazy and apply too much because obviously we've seen how much powder it can pick up. Mm. Okay, it's intensified it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this is usually a pretty sheer powder, but it's picked up the pigment on this quite a bit and I actually quite like it. I really prefer using this particular product with this rather than a brush. I felt like with the brush, I was there for ages <laughs> building it up, but with this, quick, effortless. Um, I really like it, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of powder highlight. I'm gonna use my Pixie X Rich Loves palette because I can't stop using it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with the shade called Clutch, which is this one right by here. And I'm just gonna dip the very tip of it in, not very hard at all, very lightly. And we're gonna see how this blends out highlight. I'm just kind of like lightly Ooh. buffing it into the skin. Look at that. It applies powder products so well. My camera cut me off as I was observing the beauty of this applying my highlighter. <laughs> um, yeah, this did a really good job of applying my highlighter the way that I want it to. When I apply highlighter, I don't want it to just be a streak on my face. I want it really to melt into my skin and look seamless with no harsh lines. <laughs> and this does exactly that. You can't see the start or end to my highlight. I love it. I haven't applied any to like my nose or anything yet, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Honestly, this just makes it so quick and easy. Okay, and the final thing I'm gonna use it for is my blush. I'm just gonna use this palette by BH Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna go into this one and I'm just gonna take the corner of it and just lightly dip in here. It does pick up a lot of the color, so I'm just gonna pat off the excess on my hand. But let's just tap this on. This is just making things so easy. Like, hello, I'm barely having to work to apply. Like, it's applied like the perfect amount as well. What's going on, guys? I'm gonna see what happens if I just go straight in with the color. Can we blend it out? Does it go too crazy? Okay. Yes, it does. <laughs> so just be mindful if you're using this and you've got very pigmented products. Especially with powders, it picks up a lot of the product. But to remedy this, I'm just gonna take the side that we had just the face powder on, and I'm just gonna buff over the area. I'm gonna take off the excess. Kinda works like the veiling technique with a brush. All right, you guys, so that is all of my base makeup applied. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my eyes, put on a lip, and we'll discuss my final thoughts on this baby right here. Be right back. All right, you guys, so this 
This is my finished face. I finished up my eyes, which by the way is the Tarte Beauty Palette. Obviously, if you're interested, I do have a haul palette review on this, which I've just uploaded. I'll leave it in the eye over here if you're interested in seeing my opinions and a few looks with this palette. But yeah, anyway, let's get right on into what I think about this tool right by here. I love it. <laughs> I like the way it applied my primer. I felt like it applied that decently, although I don't really see that much of a difference than applying it with my hands, if I'm brutally honest, but it felt nice. <laughs> and I felt like it really pushed it into my pores really nicely, and it didn't leave like a film on my skin. My skin felt very smoothed over, and it was really pressed into my skin rather than sitting on top. For foundation, it wasn't my favourite tool, as the coverage wasn't the best, especially not with the swiping motion. The best way to apply it to get the most coverage, if that's what you're looking for, would be the patting motion and buffing into the skin. Concealer. Amazing. I really did like the way that it blended out my concealer. It just spread the product so evenly and effortlessly and you really didn't have to worry about moving the product everywhere because it didn't really do that. Also, the contour. <laughs> I love the way it blended that out. That is more of a stick formula though, so the product isn't going to move around too much. But if you're using like more of a liquid, it'll probably react the same way a concealer would. So it again, hopefully wouldn't move everywhere. I'll obviously have to play around with more liquidy products, but apart from that, I love the way it blended out the contour. Also, even the jelly highlighter, it blended that out really well. And yeah, then the powders, that's a completely different ball game. Even with applying my contour slash bronzer, blush, highlight even, I could use the very edge of this for highlight to get precise. It's so good. <laughs> I honestly thought I would find this a little bit problematic just because I love to do my makeup quite quickly and also I like to put in minimal effort <laughs> and I just know a sponge and a brush, you know, I just know how they work, I know I'm not going to have any issues usually, um, so I was a bit apprehensive about using this but honestly, I feel like this is change my makeup game. Also, I love that you can just flip the ribbon around and use the other side. You've got a double-sided tool and it's a big tool as well. So you can use it for pretty much your whole base and you can just get it done with one thing. You don't have to switch from a sponge to a brush, etc. You can just literally use this and just one and done it. Like it's just so simple. And also, I haven't cleaned this. This is what it looks like. Maybe I just don't use that much product, but like there's barely anything on here at all. Another great thing about this is it's reusable and you can just wash it with soap and water or you can throw it in the washing machine, which is a godsend. <laughs> you can just put it in like a lingerie bag or bra bag or something and you can just wash it with your delicates. I really like this and I think I am going to use it constantly. I'd say one con is that a few little grey fibres have come out of the sponge but I think with a wash that'll help it. It's a brand new sponge and I haven't actually washed it you know at all and it's a fibery material so you know it's probably likely that it needs a wash to get rid of any excess fibres but it wasn't so much a problem that it's made me look fuzzy on the face or anything. It looks so seamless with no harsh lines. <laughs> all right that that wasn't even a joke. It can't even get old because it wasn't even ever a joke. Okay. <laughs> so for a person like me who has really loved doing this so quickly, I personally, I think this is worth it. It was expensive, but I think I can reuse this a lot more than a sponge potentially. Obviously I don't know about the wear and tear because this is literally just my first impressions of using it for the first ever time. But I'm hoping this baby's gonna last me for a while and that I don't have to repurchase it as often as I would a makeup sponge. And I feel like it's more hygienic than a sponge is because with a sponge, I don't really know what's going on in the inside as much because it's usually, you know, a lot of layers. Whereas this, it's just really flimsy and thin. So I feel like it'd be easier to keep more sanitary. Obviously, I don't know if that's a fact, that's just a personal observation. <laughs> and also, you get a little mini one. Who doesn't love minis? <laughs> Alright, so that's another great launch from Tarty Beauty. Honestly, I feel like she cares a lot about the things that she does bring out. So, you know, I'm, I've got high hopes and this has exceeded them. Which, you know, can be kind of hard to do, but no, I, I really love I really love this tool. Honestly do. I need to put this with my tools over here. There we go. <laughs> okay you guys, so that is it for this video. I think I touched on everything that I needed to. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. If you're new, I hope you decide to stick around. I upload twice a week. If you've made it all the way to this point, why don't you subscribe? All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload next. As I'm filming this video, we've literally just hit 900 people, which is 
crazy. <laughs> thank you for everyone who has already joined and if you're deciding right now if you want to, thank you for the consideration, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'm delirious right now. Um, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. <coughs> My name is Kiriel and we... So I just... So I just... Laura Mercier seek... <laughs> Another great thing... Another great thing about this is... is 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 it?